Hi, I'm Susie. I'm a plant-based chef and this is Paul. Hello, yep, I'm a, a research scientist at the Quadrum Institute of Bioscience here in Norwich. Um, and we're here today uh, with Susie, who's making another one of our iron-rich recipes that have been developed in the, in the Pernog project. So this is a, um, a burrito recipe with beans and a salsa fresca. So a salsa fresca is made with fresh ingredients as opposed to cooked ingredients. So um, these are our ingredients here that we've got. What else is really important for vegans and vegetarians to consider in their diet in terms of nutrients? Yeah, so far, so far we've been talking about iron. The other, the other areas, um, and there are a number of them, would include things like selenium and iodine, calcium, for example. But the other one we're working on in, in the project uh, is vitamin B12. And the reason that's really important for vegans and vegetarians to consider where they're going to get their B12 from is that, that plants do not produce B12. They don't yeah. need B12 and they don't make it. Essentially, if you only eat uh, plant-based foods that have not been fortified, you're going to get no B12. Okay. Yeah. And, and, that, and that's a problem. So um, we're looking at other ways for, for vegans and vegetarians to get B12. And, and the way we're doing that is we're looking at hydroponics. The hydroponics is a way of uh, growing plants in, in, uh, where the roots are in a, a liquid nutrient solution. Yeah. And if we add some B12 into that liquid nutrient solution, uh, we're we'll looking to see if the plants take it up how much they take up, yeah. and how much of that plant material you would need to eat to get your, your recommended daily amount for vitamin B12, okay. which is yeah. only about one and a half micrograms a day. Right, so small amounts, small but amounts, really, yeah. really important. Yeah, so you know, ultimately um, this may turn into a useful technology for at scale, because you know, <laughs> there's a lot of hydroponic farms now being developed. We're looking at it uh, for people to be able to do it in their own home. So there's a number of companies who can sell you reasonably small or bigger hydroponic devices for you to grow, you know, five plants, 10 plants, 20 plants. Um, and then if you add the, 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 the right form of B12 into the nutrient solution, then you can, you know, consume maybe five or 10 grams of those leafy greens each day. Things like coriander, parsley, spinach, uh, rocket, they'll all take up that B12 and then you'll get enough B12 in your diet. Yeah, and that's really good because it's local and sustainable absolutely well. yeah, yeah 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 brilliant to make the salsa we put the tomatoes into a bowl chop them really small chop everything really small it'll take you a bit of time but it will make a difference onion here so they're fairly small as well they are yeah get more flavor that way we've got a red chili The coriander, there's quite a lot of coriander here, a very large handful, so like 30 grams. Make it look really lovely and green. The colours look really good together. We need about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and some lime juice. How many limes was that? This is one lime. One whole lime. Yes. Yeah. And you could put the zest in as well if you want to. So we give that a nice mix and then leave that for half an hour or so to, for the flavours to develop. We've got some avocado here, but we won't put that in until afterwards, until we serve it, because we don't want it to go brown. So now we're going to make the bean element of the burritos. So we start with a little bit of oil in a pan. That warm through and then we add um, some onion that's red onion that's a whole red onion and I normally like to add just a little bit of salt at that stage and then we put the lid on and just let that saute for about five minutes so we'll just give that um, a stir let that just cook down a bit and then we add the ginger. And the spices. Now the spices here, we've got a sweet smoked paprika and some ground um, cumin. That goes in. Give that another stir. So you could do it with normal rather than smoked paprika, but you like the smokiness with yeah, the beans. Yeah, yeah, I think the smokiness works really nicely with it, but obviously if you don't have that, then normal paprika is fine. Put the lid on. Just 
just let that cook away for a bit of time. And then um, once that's gone for about five minutes, nice and soft, the onions are nice and soft, then we add the beans. So these are black beans. Okay. I've got two tins of black beans here. So you pop those in. So if somebody wanted to put a different kind of bean in, what would you recommend? I would probably use um, red kidney beans. Okay. That would be a really good alternative. And the, and the beans here are providing most of the iron in this recipe, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, great. And then just a little bit of, um, about four tablespoons of tomato passata. That goes in. Give that a good stir. And then we we'll just leave that to cook away nicely for about 10 minutes. Okay. And then that's done. It's really quick and easy. It was very quick. And you can have that, you could have that on toast. We're going to finish off the burritos by just doing the salsa. And I've chopped the avocado and I'm going to pop that into the salsa at the last minute. And that's just to make sure it stays all lovely and beautiful yeah, green. Yeah, it's nice and green. Fresh yeah. looking. Yep. Give that a quick stir. It smells really good. Mm. Really fresh. Okay, right. So if you just grab your plate. Okay. Now we can start with, doesn't really matter what order, but okay. put some of the beans on. It looks First really rich. All. Yeah. Nice. How much do I need just to yeah, that's probably about run it right. up the middle a bit yeah. like that? Perfect. Great. And then for you. We'll do the same. Then you can follow with the rice, a bit of the rice. Okay. Don't go too mad, otherwise you won't be you able won't to roll be able it. To fit anything in. <laughs> that's about right. Yep, great. And then some of the salsa. Sorry. That does look really good. The colours are amazing, aren't they? Yeah, it looks lovely. It looks very appetising. This is really good sort of party food. You could pop everything in the middle of the table and just let everyone help themselves. Thank you. And then the, we've got some um, vegan Greek cheese okay. here to use and some jalapenos. So lovely. just pop some of those in. Do you like uh, some heat? You could put chilli sauce in. in a minute. You've polished yours in a lovely neat pile. <laughs> I don't think it really matters. <laughs> It'll get squashed anyway. <laughs> Is there a skill in the squashing? Yeah, yeah we'll just roll and then it will... There we have a bit of cheese. Okay. Good. Right, so to roll it up from the bottom, let me do the sides. Okay. I mean, you can eat it like that. It's rather full, but we can okay. squeeze it. Right, and then you roll it forward, do you? Or forward. roll the top down? Yep, roll it forward. Roll it forward like that. It's rather full. There we are. And we have our burrito. Beautiful. <laughs>